Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at SMT in Nuremberg, and I'm joined by Richard Booth from the Altus Group. Richard, thanks for stopping by to chat. Pleasure, Philip. Um, unusual to talk to a representative company rather than principal, and it's good to get a different perspective. Mm -hmm. You have a strong business, 14, 15 years old in the UK market. Yes. Tell me a bit about that business and what's going on in the UK at the moment. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. We've, uh, we've been running for 14 years. We're 10, 11 people. Um, we're a range of um, good quality production equipment that we sell and support. Support for us is really critical. Customers want machines to work and uh, we put a lot of emphasis on the support side of things. Yeah, very busy at the moment actually. It's a really good market situation just at the moment. A lot of, uh, I think there's been a lot, there's a lot of pent up um, requirement for mm. new equipment, especially automated equipment, which is going to save uh, perhaps labour costs and headcounts. So yeah. At the moment, very successful. Yeah, and that's going to play really well into the UK market where labour costs are yeah. up reasonably high, perhaps yes. not as high here as here in, in Germany. You have some other territories in, in Eastern Europe as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, um, uh, as the industry in the UK kind of migrated towards lower cost ge geographies, especially uh, Eastern Europe, we were called on to offer services in Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria, um, which we did. And then ultimately we developed our own business. We've got offices, we've got direct staff, local language. So we've more or less mirrored uh, what we've got in Altus for the UK and Ireland in Hungary and Romania. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. And the demand that came is because, do you think, because of that core of service at the centre of your business? Yeah. How important is that to your customers? Oh, very, very important, very important. We, we are, our primary uh, focus is salespeople that are technical and support people that can keep machines running. Yeah. So most of the customers will say that you, uh, as a distributor, as a rep, you've got value if you can keep our machines running. Yeah, absolutely. And when we were talking earlier about the, the um, companies you represent, if you were very quick to tell me the, the size of the installed base. I guess for you, servicing, supporting that installed base is, is, is part of the sales process. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and also it's a revenue generator, right. of course. Uh, we represent Co Young, which is one of the leaders in uh, solar paste and automatic optical inspection. Mm. Um, lots of requirement for calibrating machines, so yes, we're very yeah. busy with them. We've got a good range of board handling. Uh, actually, this exhibition for us is, a little, is far more about managing the, the suppliers mm. than the customers. There's yeah. not too many UK customers here, but we need to be with the, district, the suppliers to show them that we're yeah. active, that we're present, and yeah. that we're interested. So yeah. That's a Absolutely. big job for us here. Absolutely. But the other thing you can give to those principals is the voice of their customer. You're at a service level, yes. you're, you're seeing those little yeah. irritations that people have yeah. or yeah. the next demand yes. that they have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't tend to ask us too often, to be honest, and they probably should more because yeah. we're in a good position where we can visit, even we can visit competitive yeah. customers, clients. So I think they've got quite a lot to offer. We, wherever we can, we get a face-to-face -face with the, yeah. the relevant people in those organizations. Yeah. Let yeah. them know what we need by way of upgrades, etc. Yeah, machines. And feedback, yeah, feedback. And feedback from your uh, your service yes. pattern when yeah. you're out there yes. as well. Yeah. Last question, Richard. The UK market. Where where is it on the curve at the moment? Where do you see it? Say between now and the end of the year, continuing. Yeah. 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 Yes. It, yeah, it's fragile. If I'm yeah. honest, it's fragile. There's there was pent up demand for equipment. Um, that's being satisfied at the moment. The business is very good at the moment. One or two of British customers are doing really well. Mm. Let's say the the high spec kind of customers. I think I think it's going to be a good year. But we went through two or three recessions over the last yeah. six or eight years. We're always a little bit anxious about what's around the corner. Yeah. But so far, it's very good. Actually. It just feels like it's a little bit too bouncy, doesn't it? You know, we're, it does. we're just not quite sure where we are. No. And we have an election, so yeah, there we go. That could, <laughs> yeah. that could mess things up. Yeah, there, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, Richard, thanks for stopping by. Pleasure. Thanks for chatting, Pleasure. and I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Thanks, Phil. Thank you. Thank you.